Hello, my name is Darren Cawthon, and tonight I'm going to give a quick demo of Autotest.net. Autotest.net is a cool uh, testing tool for .NET that's modeled off of the uh, Ruby tool by the same name, Autotest. Uh, what these tools do are is watch your uh, project, and anytime they find a change to one of your files, they will run your test. Um, and they'll also give you some kind of notification saying if the test passed or failed. And it may not seem like a big deal, but I think once you, you after you use it for a while, um, you'll find that it kind of speeds up the process a little bit um, and keeps your eyes focused on the code. Um, you can find this project at GitHub, and I've included the author's Twitter handle here if you want to follow him. Uh, to start out, I'm. I'm actually at his GitHub uh, page, uh, the GitHub page for autotest.net, and start. I'm just going to download the package here into my downloads directory. I'm just going to extract all of the files into a directory I, I set up at C drive slash autotest. You can put this wherever you want. I'm just doing this for the demo. All right. Uh, another thing you'll need is a tool called Growl. Now uh, if you haven't heard of Growl, what it does is it, it just basically provides a really easy way to uh, show notifications on the screen. Um, Autotest.net uses Growl to uh, show you your test results. And I've already installed it so I won't do it right now. Okay. So, um, and also for my demo I have of course a MVC project here. It's just the default MVC um, or ASP.NET MVC2 project with the default test um, tests that come with it. So I have 17 passing tests right now. So let's uh, check out autotest.net. So I'm going to go to my autotest directory and I'll actually open it up here again so you can see that it includes two files that we're probably concerned with right now. Um, that's autotest.console.executable and there's a WinForms app too. Uh, tonight I'm going to use the console app. So I'm going to just autotest.console.exe and I'm going to give it a path to my project. And my project is sitting in my temp directory. Just like that. I'm going to fire it up. And that's going to give me a few warnings saying that it can't find my in-unit test runner and my ex-unit test runner. Um, but I'll show that in a second. But for now, it's up and running. So let's go to my project. Here's a test fixture. So I'm going to just make another one or make another test. Test 1. And I'm going to assert that 1 is equal to 0, which we all know is false. I'm just going to save the file. As soon as I save the file, you can see Autotest picks up, it built my project, and it ran the test and found one failed. So let's make the test pass. I'm going to save the file. You can see it did the same thing and ran the test, and now all of my tests are passing, and I get a nice green light. Um, it's really that simple. Um, now, I could, you know, there's not that much difference, or at least it may not seem to be a much difference between if I just, you know, run the test myself. But, um, once you kind of get into the mode, especially with Ruby, because you don't have a choice, of um, just w keeping your eyes focused on your code and just you know doing your work, and then when you save your changes, the tests run. Um, I, I don't personally, I found that it's a little easier to manage it this way. Okay, uh, there's a couple more things I'd like to show you about this tool. Uh, there's a configuration file which I'm going to open up in Visual Studio here. Um, what, this, what this does is uh, just lets you configure, configure how Autotest runs. It lets you set uh, paths to your in-unit and ex-unit runners, and MS tests as well, and, um, and your code editor. Um, the author uses 2008, I think, so like if you're using 2010, um, all you have to do is just update the 9 to 10 and, and go from there. Um, and another thing I would like to show you, and uh, a coworker, uh, James Eggers, of mine, uh, he showed me this, or suggested this. Um, 
Visual Studio has an external tools option, so uh, what you can do is make an auto test tool. The command, I'm going to point it at auto test, and I'm going to point out the console app. And for the first argument, I'm going to give it the solution directory. Just hit apply and OK. So let's say I, well, actually, let me go ahead and kill this console app right now. So auto test is not running anymore. Let's say I want to start auto test up. I can just go to tools, auto test, and it will fire that. And I'm going to save. I have auto test running. So, um, again, that's it. I'd say just give it a try. Um, and also look into a new tool that's coming out. It's a commercial product built on autotest.net uh, uh, called Mighty Moose. I mean, I haven't seen it myself, but I think it optimizes uh, the way the tester runs. So your, like, your failures will run if you have fails, and it'll run first. Um, I think it just speeds up the process even more. Um, but that's all I have. Thank you.